So this is in response to someone who asked me a question after watching one of my tutorials, because when they went to do it, it kind of messed up their formatting a bit. It messed up the borders on the cells that they had. And what had happened is basically they used fill, you know, so where you can click here and then click and drag down on the bottom right hand corner. So I've got a block here, it's got January, it's in bold, and I've got a border around here. But look what happens when I click and drag down. I'm going down to December here. It's kept the formatting, so it's copied also the top part of the border. And down at the bottom, because over here it didn't have a border, it's removed the border there. So it's completely messed it up. But you can actually do the fill without formatting. So let me just undo that. And by the way, I'm here on a Mac, but actually this works exactly the same way on Windows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and then drag and it changes from a crosshair to a pointer. It does exactly the same thing, but when I let go, you get options. And one of those is fill without formatting. And when I do that, it's actually filled it in. It hasn't even done the bold here. If I had any formatting here, such as some bold, it would have done that. And we're just going to take a look at some others here. So I've got some dates. So there you are, it's in italics. If I was to click and drag, it would do the italics. Let's just click and drag up to remove them. Once again, if I click and drag and let go, and with the right, I could do fill without formatting. Same again over here. I've already got that in here, but let me just remove it. And once again, I could just right click. And when I do the fill without formatting, it's gone. We're going to take a look here in a moment, but just one of the other options, if I right click and click down, let's have already got that data in there. It's fill formatting only. So if I've got any other data in there, whatever data it is, won't change. And it will just apply the formatting there. So there you have it. If I did that here, let's right click, drag this down. It would do fill formatting. We'll actually get rid of what I had here. So let's just undo that because actually here, I want to do a little series. You can see obviously there's a background color, but I actually do have it in bold already. So the other question that they had was, if I did already have formatting here, would it keep that formatting? And the answer is yes. So if I want these to go up by 10, I've just highlighted both of those, click and drag down, fill without formatting, still keeps the original formatting that was in there. If I now wanted this formatting over here, well, I could click here, you know what I'm going to do. I'm gonna right click and you can drag upwards and when I go to fill formatting only, it's now copied that. And obviously this also goes across as well as down. It was just more convenient to demonstrate this by copying down. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe. I've got a lot more videos on my YouTube channel, so please do have a look around there.